with Simply Fragrances. And today I'm bringing you a tag video, or at least I'm gonna start one, but I can't take full credit for it. No, nope, the idea actually comes from Chris over at Fragmental. So a shout out to you, brother. Uh, you know, appreciate uh, you doing this uh, or starting this, this video but I wanted to kind of capitalize on it and make it a tag video because I think it's a super awesome way to get the fragrance community and different fragrance enthusiasts and uh, content creators involved. So uh, really excited to do this. So the title of it, as you can see, is YouTube made me do it slash buy it. So the idea behind this is different fragrances that different YouTube reviewers or content creators put on your radar, uh, whether they hyped it up or just because of the review on it, you know, made you want to buy it. And so you had to go ahead and get you a full bottle or a sample or you know you just had to have it in your collection so really excited to do this like i said i'm gonna make this a tag video so i'm gonna go ahead and get those out of the way tyrona bro sense you were tagged jp jp frag you were tagged trey trey sense man you were tagged john morrell you already know you're tagged um let's see heathen sense man you were tagged i want to see what you got um and then you know i could tag so many different people um but uh i'm you know what i'm gonna go ahead uh corbin at northwest sense man if you want to go ahead and do this you can no pressure bro if you don't want to not a problem and then um yeah guys i think that's uh no i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna tag uh hugh fragment man you were tagged as well he's kind of new and upcoming so i want to get him included in there so um yeah guys fragrances that different youtube reviewers um you know content creators put on your radar and made you interested in them to the point to where you want to buy them um, so YouTube made you do it slash buy them. So really excited for this guys Let's go ahead and get into this if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet Please go ahead hit the red subscribe button really do appreciate that give the video a thumbs up Let's go ahead and get into this so first on the list I figured you know what since the idea I got from Chris I go ahead and highlight him first so Chris at uh, fragmental man Thank you so much for putting this on my radar the way you described it the sweet powdery neroli citrusy um, you know gentleman elegant gentleman in a bottle fragrance reflection man by on wash this stuff i must say it is so good it's so regal and sophisticated um just this classy elegant gentleman fragrance um just this sweet powdery neroli ah, man this stuff is so good i could go on and on about this but reflection man uh, definitely was put on my radar uh, and honestly his his the way he talks about it in his weekly fragrance rotations or you know his top 10 videos seeing that in there I was like you know what I gotta go ahead I gotta I gotta get me a bottle of that so uh, shout out to you Chris man or uh, yeah Chris at Fragmental really appreciate you uh, putting that on my radar all right next on the list we all know him we all love him he's hilarious he makes me laugh every single time i watch his videos really he says something or does something that i just bust up laughing he's the biggest in the game he is the biggest entertainer according to himself at least but uh, we all know him. we all love him i've talked to him a couple times he's super humble uh super awesome dude and it's kuba knows and what he put on my radar man i mean many 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 things but one thing that he put on my radar that i'm truly thankful for was Shea Bond. So I was kind of going through YouTube, uh, searching up, uh, whew, man, uh, searching up different Creed Green Irish Creed alternatives because at the time I didn't have one in my collection. I was like, you know what? I want something at least close to it so I can get kind of the vibe to it. And I really didn't like uh, trading wheat for whatever reason. It just didn't didn't set well for me. Uh, so I saw his video on this and his comparison to it with uh, Green Irish Tweed. He said it was more fresh. It was more um, kind of more aromatic. And there was a Tino in here. I was like, you know what? That sounds really, really good. I'm going to have to get me a sample of this. And so got a sample of it. Went ahead, bought a full bottle. Man, this stuff is so good. I like it. Honestly, I like it better than Creed Green Irish Tweed. I know that might be a cardinal sin to some of y'all. But Shea Bond, man, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Don't sleep on it. All right, next on the list, guys. Uh, man, I gotta give Ross over at uh, TLTG uh, Reviews a huge shout out, man. Not only for putting this on my radar, but honestly, for being, man, a true bro, like for real. Like, I consider you a good buddy of mine. Uh, and we talk pretty often. In fact, we were talking just before I shot this video. Um, so, man, thank you so much for all you've done for me and help, you know, pushing my channel. That really, really does uh, mean a lot to me. But, what also means a lot to me is the fact you put this bad boy onto my radar. That's right, man. Amber Crombie in uh, Fit uh, First Instinct Blue. This is your sexy gym fragrance, as you say. 
And man, I must say, for a blue fragrance, I'm not the biggest blue uh, fragrance type person, but this stuff, man, it's really, really nice. It's very, very good. It's not quite as shower jelly, if that makes any kind of sense, as you know, some of them are. Uh, they don't get that just super heavy and broxen note that you would find in like Sauvage. And so this one's a little bit more well-rounded, if that makes sense. And so this stuff, I really like. My wife absolutely likes it. So finally found this at like, I think it was TJ Maxx and finally picked up a full bottle. So Amber Crombie and Fit, no, sorry, Amber Crombie and yeah, Fitch First Instinct Blue. Next on the list, uh, this one, man, shout out to, um, excuse me, uh, Steven over at Red Adolescent, man. This stuff, I'm so glad that I found this because, man, this is probably my favorite, mm, maybe not my favorite, but it's definitely in my top three, top five, top five fall fragrances. It's really hard for me to narrow it down just because I love so many fall fragrances, but uh, Steven over at uh, Red Adolescent, he put uh, Parfum de Marley Harriet on my radar, and man, this stuff. Uh, the sweet honey and tobacco in here is just absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. This is my go-to fall fragrance. I wore this super heavy in the fall. Um, and for, I mean, you know, I have so many different fragrances. For this to get that much use, man, this stuff is so good. It's sweet. It's kind of a little spicy, but you mainly get the sweet honey and tobacco in here. Absolutely amazing. So, uh, Steven at Red Adolescent, man, shout out to you, brother, for putting this on my radar. Now, I do have two from one person. That's because he was the first person I actually started watching. He was the first one that I got into watching fragrance reviews on. So, Ashton over at Gent Sense, man. Shout out to you, brother. Um, what you put on my radar that I'm super, super, super happy for, man, is Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Now, um, I don't believe the EDP was out then, so it was the EDT, but you put this on my radar, man. I had to go and get me a sample of it. Went to uh, Dillard's sample. I was like, you know what? This it really isn't for me. Um, I don't know really get what the hype is about. And so I went back, watched your video. I was like, man, no, he said it's good. So I'm going to trust him. I went back, got me a sample of it, started to wear it. And I was like, you know what? Now it's finally starting to make sense. Um, and, and it finally just grew on me. And now I absolutely love this stuff. You can see how much juice is gone for all the fragrances I have for it to get this amount of uh, you know use. This stuff is super good. Perfect date night fragrance, guys. Love this stuff. And then second one from Ashton. I mean, I could have put in uh, Green Irish Tweed because that's uh, his, you know, I think it's his all-time favorite fragrance from uh, Creed. But um, when you come into fragrance, um, you know, the, the world of fragrances, uh, especially for YouTube, at that time, since it was still kind of, sort of new, been out for a couple years, um, but you are going to hear about his Creed Aventus, Creed Aventus, you got to get the king, it's the best, it's this, it's that. And I was like, man, I don't even know what Creed Aventus is, but uh, I watched several of his videos on it, uh, his, you know, uh, his takes on it, his top tens, and you know, when to wear it, all that. So, Creed Events is man, this stuff. What, what more can be said, really? It's Creed Events, it's, it's smoky pineapple magic, and it's amazing. Uh, so Ashton, he put that on my radar. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. And thank you just for the videos that you do and your knowledge, man. Love that stuff. So, uh, next on the list, this one comes from Dallas over at Chaos Fragrances, and uh, he kind of likes those barbershop fougere. Uh, fragrances just like I do and that really intrigued me and he put me on to Azaro poor home um, you know I was going through this this really heavy barbershop fougere phase and uh, I actually have this right here which he put on onto my radar as well but YSL Reeve gosh this is discontinued so it's really hard to find but he said that this is in the ballpark range of it. So I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and give it a shot. And I absolutely love this stuff, especially for the spring. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more in your face than uh, Reeve Gauche, Gosh, however you want to say it. Uh, but definitely, definitely still full bottle worthy. Had to get me a uh, full bottle of it. So Dallas at Chaos Fragrances, man. Shout out to you. Now, down to our last three. So I did what you think to be. It was going to go on too long. Um, but. Uh, shout out to Big Beard Business, man. Like the way you describe this, the way you described it as, uh, you know, Mediterranean royalty. Um, and I was like, man, that sounds, that sounds important. That sounds like I got to have that. Um, the citruses you described, I was like, you know what? I got to go ahead and get me a bottle of Creed Millisum Imperial. And I'm super, super glad that I did. 
you know, I had messed with uh, different samples like Russia unicorns, uh, not samples, different interpretations uh, like Russia unicorns. Uh, or there's a couple others that uh, I can't think of right now. Um, Dua has uh, their version of it, and uh, you know, I was like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta get it. I sampled it enough. I gotta get me a full bottle. Um, so big breed business. You put Creed Melissa Imperial on my radar, and man, you hyped it up, and I love it. Thank you for that. Uh, might as well. I mean, it's another Creed, so let's go ahead and finish. You know, it's not the last one, but we'll finish the House of Creed. Up. So this one comes, man, from uh, Mr. Bowtie Fragrance Guy, uh, Darian. Man, thank you so much for this, man. I'm super excited. Um, the way you hyped this up, the way you said this was your favorite uh, from the house. This is your baby. This creamy, smooth sandalwood. I was like, you know what? I gotta go ahead and get me a bottle of Creed Original Santal. Man, this stuff. I'm so glad. <sighs> This is like the perfect winter, not winter, uh, spring and fall fragrance, like this light, creamy, super creamy sandalwood. Man, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. So shout out to Bowtie Fragrance Guy for eventually making me get a bottle of Creed Original Santal. And I said the, not necessarily the best for last, but um, man, I'm super excited for this because uh, this you know, Justin Copeland at State Fresh Productions, you know, shout out to you, man. I've talked with you quite a few times. You're a really good dude. Uh, you know, you've done a couple of my tag videos and, and really appreciate that. But um, you put something on my radar that uh, turned into something that I never dreamed of. But uh, this stuff, I got not only a great fragrance, but I gained a friend out of this. And this is the Harroff Signature Pour Ohm. And man, I love this scent. I love this stuff. This is a classic, you know, modern barbershop fougere type of fragrance. And I really, really, really love this stuff. This stuff is so amazing. Um, but what I gained from it is, man, I got a friend out of George. Like George is just an amazing guy. I was talking with him just last night even. And man, he's just a really funny, just amazing dude. So uh, not only did I get a really great fragrance out of it, but I gained a good friend. And if you guys haven't seen my um, interview with George, please uh, go show uh, bleh, be sure and go uh, watch that. So uh, really good stuff. If you like the modern barbershop fougere type fragrances, that definitely needs to be on your list, guys. So that was quite a few fragrances. Um, didn't want the video going too long. It kind of is a little bit anyways, but uh, I wanted to get that. I wanted to make this tag video, like I said, to kind of get the fragrance community uh, involved with this. And I wanted to start seeing, you know, who you guys watch, you know, and what made you get this. And um, I just think it'd be kind of a cool idea. So. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, like I said earlier, give the video a thumbs up. If you like it, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, if you love it, wear it.